Okay, I wanted to measure the plate voltage on the SB100. What's kind of bugging me over here, this is the HV setting. The dial actually reads about 700 volts. There's 1,000, 800, 700, 600. So just a minute ago, I had this Radio Shack meter here hooked up to the high voltage section. Got the cover off, which is really dangerous. But just as a sanity check, I wanted to measure the OA2 regulator in here. So I've got this hooked up to the OA2 regulator, 150 volts, and there it is, 150 volts. And that's on the 200 volt setting. We'll turn it to a 1,000 volt setting, and there it is, 150 volts. And that's the P3772, 737s and a 2. I'm going to go ahead and turn this unit off. There's the plate voltage dropping. I'm going to wait till that drops before I go through there and hook up a connector. I want to measure what that is. Now the schematic over here shows 800 volts out of the uh, HB23. It goes to the meter and you've got a 1 meg resistor, 1 watt, 1 percent and you got a 10k to ground. So maybe this 10k resistor in time is screwed up and so this voltage divider is goofed up. So Okay, I've got this down. To turn the camera off, I'm going to rig up and measure here, hook up the leads to the high voltage. Got the leads hooked to the plate. Just stand away, make sure I don't get knocked on my butt, because that's, you can kill yourself there. There's the voltage on zero. Let me go ahead and kick it on. 825 volts. That's the plate voltage to the ground chassis. 828. Now the voltage in this plant's about, it's usually on the high side, probably 120, 124. So that'll, that'll, it's unregulated supply. So it probably uh, will track with that. Now over here, this reads, get in the shadow, it reads about 700 volts with this on high voltage. And I kind of centered the meter just a second ago. So next, I'm probably in another video, I'm going to go through and explore, see if this voltage divider works. Right here. Because you got a 1 meg and a 10K, so that drops it down, and here's the meter. Does that on another unit I've been playing around, it always reads about 700 when it measures about 800. Now if I go ahead and kick it off, this is how fast it'll bleed down with the meter in place. There it is bleeding down. That's DC. Now over here the meter's dropping down. If I kick it back on again, it comes up immediately. It's dropping back down again. So before you pull this cover up, you probably, if you don't know what you're doing, you should have all the, have it everything unplugged and wait for the thing to bleed down. Now I've got a meter in there that's going to help. Okay, I've got the meter undone. I'll kick it on. There it is, 700. We'll measure the. Here's how fast the bleed down is without the meter. So you can't just turn the thing off and then open up the cam cover and stick your hand in there because you're going to get knocked on your butt. You could get killed. There it has a few seconds. It's down close to zero.